I have to know, as a comedian, what do you feel the state of comedy is going in the future with the cancel culture? Yeah. Like, mm. what in the world? Talk to me about well, that. You know, it's hard because there are some things where I, there are some things where people are a bit too sensitive about some stuff, but for yeah. the most part, um, you know, for the most part, if you're trying to be shocking or use race as a punchline or anything like that, it, you're not, it's not funny. I mean, it's just, it's just not. And if you're, and if, and if it feels lazy to me um, too, on top of it. So right. um, I think, yeah, be better. I just think that you can, you can, you can write better material and, um, and, uh, you know, there, like I said, there's some things where it's like, well, that's not even really offend. You, you, you don't you, people dig deep for something sometimes. So right. there's yeah. two sides of it. But I think if you're smart and you're and you're writing, I prefer material that's just true to myself because then um, I'm making fun of my own life. And <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm the punchline. Right. So that's <laughs> right. to me. Um, and, and observations, and it's all relatable stuff. I don't do politics in 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 stand up or anything. A, I know there's and, and you know, say a Bill Maher or somebody. That's what you're going to see. But to me, yes. if you start talking about politics on stage, everyone's going to be like, "Come on, this is all we hear about." You know, like right. Yeah. You want a night yeah. out? You want to laugh? So um, for me, I do stuff that I find to be relatable. Talk. I, oh, I was. Sing- I didn't get married until I was 40, so I have a lot of material of of being single for years <laughs> and then being married now and family and yeah it's just I I feel like that's the stuff people can relate to because even if uh, you know they may not be married to a punter they met on Twitter but (laughs) (laughs) that whole sentence right there that is so good that is a punchline that is a punchline really seriously Seriously. (laughs) and so it's like but you just talk about being married and relatable things you know and family and, and friends and so I just feel like if you if you can just write real material that you you feel comfortable in, then you can save yourself the headache of wondering if you're going to offend somebody. Yeah, you know. Fair. Makes yeah, sense. you just said the just, improv. Are you going to are you going to be stand up anywhere else, or well, do you I mean, have any other shows? They're, they're adding dates right now. It's been kind of um, interesting to see how it's everyone's sort of fighting for gigs because nobody worked last year. And right. Not, um, but then, and then people didn't know if they were open or not open, but now that mm. and all the cases and everything's going down and people are able to know their capacity. So I think by the fall, I'll have a, a, a full schedule, which I'm excited about. So oh, make everyone that's so exciting. Yeah. Make everyone keep, that. keep an eye on my um, website, sarahcolona.com. Cause I, was, oh. yeah, I was supposed to be in New York at, at, um, at Gotham and last April and obviously that got canceled. Oh. So hoping that they, when they're able to be open full capacity and everything again, I'll be there. Cause I love that. Club. Well, I would love to see you. Natasha and I are here. So yeah, we come see you. Oh yes. yes That'd be well, amazing. One thousand percent. <laughs> yeah. Where, and Mike, yeah. Mike, where are you? I'm in Austin. Oh, you're in Austin. Oh, I love Austin. But I'll be in LA mm-hmm. in like two weeks. So if you're doing a show, what's up? Let me know. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll DM you. And you know, I, you know, I won't be hitting on you because I'm married. So it'll be a <laughs> Married to muscles, baby. Be- <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I can. John, John's a pretty big guy. You know, I can't handle that. <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty big dude. <laughs> You'll have both of us crushing on you and it'll be really awkward for you. <laughs> I'm like, John, yeah. calm down, bro. 